Hey guys, good to see you again. I'm Lee Kelso. Welcome back to the garage. This brake pedal is good evidence that we're making progress on converting my 1989 Saab turbo convertible from an automatic into a five speed. Now in a recent episode you saw us install a new clutch in the manual transmission that's going into this car. I'm trying to get it to slip inside this tight little space. And when you convert an automatic to a manual, you also have to give it a new clutch pedal. That means changing the brake pedal and, of course, the shift linkage. Well, this brake pedal is evidence that I know for a fact not all parts of the Saab 900 are interchangeable from year to year. I tried just moving the pedal assembly from the donor car over into my car, but Saab had changed designs between model years and there was just no way it was going to work. So on to plan B. I unbolted the brake pedal from the donor car and fitted into my car's pedal box and then installed that assembly. And here's what it looked like after it was back in place. So there's something wrong with this picture. See how the brake is shorter than everything else? But it had to come out because I discovered yet another more important difference. The two pedals don't look all that different, but the one from the donor car was lacking two tabs required to activate the brake switch and a cruise control interrupt switch. There was just no way it was ever going to work. So that forced me to eBay for yet another brake pedal replacement, the one you see here on the left. Now that I know the brake pedal is going to work, I have to bolt it back into place with the pedal box already in the car. That means folding yourself up like origami and working up behind the dashboard. Prepare to be frustrated, but just keep after it. I busted out an air-powered ratchet to get up into those tiny spaces and tighten down the lock nut on the pedal assembly. It saved a lot of time and probably a pocket dictionary's worth of curse words. Now it's on to installing the switch gear operated by the new brake pedal. So let me show you another possible point of failure in your cruise control system. This bellows is attached to a chain, so the chain goes from here to your accelerator cable. The vac when you set your uh, cruise control, the vacuum pressure from the engine holds the cable at a specific position. If you have a leak in this bellows, it will not hold and air will refill and you won't be able to hold a steady speed. So let's test this one. So this one's good. A bit more fettling and some more words that grandma probably wouldn't approve of and everything is back in place. I'll test it and adjust the switches once the engine is installed. I'm going to leave the lower dash exposed until after a few test drives so everything can be checked out. Okay, now on to the stick shift assembly that did come over successfully from the donor car. And after all we've just been through with the brake pedal, this was really pretty easy reassembly. So the shift assembly is now attached to the shift linkage and it's ready to be bolted back in place. Saab installed that assembly with these odd little three-sided nuts. Now I assume that was a security precaution. I ground down an 11 millimeter socket in order to create fingers to get around these nuts to get them out. But I'm going to replace them and just use regular hex nuts going back together. So now the shifter is in place and my Saab is closer to going back on the road as a five speed. And I am glad to have this phase of the project done. Next, I'm going to be replacing my turbocharger. My Garrett T3 was so badly damaged it couldn't be repaired, so I'm going to replace it with a Mitsubishi version. And I think that'll be a lot easier with the engine out of the car, so yeah, I'm going to get on that next. I don't know what your car needs, but if it's a Saab 900, it could be almost 30 years old. Sure, it needs something. Get out in the garage, get yourself dirty, and I'll see you next time.